Hi friends, I am Shravana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Today we will discuss about Catalyst Optimizer in Spark SQL. Before starting with today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. So usually optimization means generating the code that runs efficiently with lesser resources and also in a quick manner. And Spark provides Catalyst Optimizer while working with data frame APIs. And Catalyst Optimizer uses rule based and cost based optimization techniques. And in general code means what a set of instructions given to the compiler to execute the code in the given order. And similarly Spark code is also a set of instructions and later which will be divided into multiple Spark jobs based on the actions given in the code. That means that a set of transformations and one action is a job. It will be divided. The, the main code that you are sending, right, that will be divided based on multiple transformations and are how many? One, one or more transformations and one action is a job. And again, the next set of transformations and another action will be split into another job and so on. And the driver will create the logical plan for each of these Spark jobs. And inside that, again, tasks will be there. And tasks will be run parallel based on the partitions and it will be executed by the executors. We have seen this in detail in the previous video. Okay. Yeah. So, if you see this diagram, this is taken from the uh, Spark official website. So, from the, uh, the driver will give us the logical plan, right? So, that we call it as unresolved logical plan. So the SQL query either it can be a SQL query or the data frame. Then finally it will be con it will the driver will create a unresolved logical plan. Okay, so we will see how this query plan will be created and executed. And also from the Spark SQL code the driver creates the unresolved logical plan and this will be sent to the SQL engine for execution. This unresolved logical plan will be generated after checking for any syntactic errors in the given Spark code. Also, it does high level uh, semantic checks and uh, produces the unresolved logical plan at this point. It will not have a query with resolved relation table means uh, um, corrected table or column names. Okay, let's uh, see how it looks like. So, I have created one data frame. This is the second data frame and this is a third data frame which is performing these kind of chaining operations and finally this data frame is created so here we are performing chain of operations and i have given this method which is explain mode equal to extended from spark 3.0 these modes are introduced before that it was like explain of uh, extended equal to true uh, by default it gives the physical plan alone this explain function and if you wanted to have all these uh, plans together then you can use extended mode equal to extended and uh, less than uh, spark 3.0 you have to use explain extended equal to true okay so if you see here the same thing I'm, I have copied to the notepad just for the bigger font to show you in the bigger font increase further okay so if you see here this is the past logical plan so here we have two data frames and then union by name filter select group by count these are the transformations and actions that we have in this data frame and when we say extended it is giving all the plans that are being used so now we are uh, as uh, explained in here uh, for, uh, by whatever you, you have if you have either you have SQL query or data frame it will be created unresolved logical plan right so we, we, we will see how it will look like so first this is a parsed logical plan which means that it will not have the uh, semantic uh, details like what is the data type of the variable uh, also whether you are giving in the spark is a correct table name or not correct I mean it will not validate at all okay 
that's why it is called as unresolved logical plan and if you see here we have aggregate operation group by is there so it is just mentioning the aggregate and whatever is required detail and in most of the cases like if you have very very uh, detailed uh, spark code you can see something called as unresolved also the word unresolved also will be mentioned here in the parts logical plan and it will mention what is the on what based you are creating the plan and what all the uh, transformations that you are going to use like filter union and uh, what and all you are uh, how how you will check the assert functions and all you have used so everything okay asset means it's like basically it's a scala code right they have written some unit test code so from there they have taken all these asset statements and you can see some plan here which is mentioned as parts logical plan and if you come here so before going to the analysis stage this is what we will have which is called as parts logical plan okay this unresolved logical plan is the input to sql engine you can see here right from here it the main execution starts the catalyst optimizer in spark engine executes the code in four stages or phases okay four stages or phases we can say in in which it implements the general tree transformation framework so these four stages are analysis logical optimization physical planning and code generation now we have seen how resolve logical plan looks like and this analysis stage is like parsing stage where it checks for the errors on incorrect table name or column name it checks for the semantic errors or if the type of the column is matching with the computation that you are performing the code by referring to the spark internal structure called catalog for example it will check you have like select product name from products table it will check whether the table product is present in the catalog this is the internal structure and also whether the product name is present or not and let's say if you are performing something like a plus b and plus some float value then it will do the type casting as well and make sure that the query runs smoothly without any errors in the later point of time and this analysis stage after resolving the uh, i mean checks basic checks from this unresolved plan by referring to the catalog this analysis stage will create fully resolved logical plan so this is that will look like this this i got it from the databricks notebook i did i showed you right explain uh, mode equal to extended i just copy pasted in the notepad so that you can see this clearly and now here if you see here it has taken the type of the variables that you have you are using in your code here you don't have that here it will just put it as a some some plan it will give but after analyzed it will it will uh, correct the names it if at all any errors it will throw then and there if there is no issues it will get the data types of the variables uh, i mean t t the column names that you are using and also it will make a proper plan which to use when when to use when to apply which kind of function so that that is the that is called as analyzed logical plan then this analyzed logical plan will be sent to the logical optimization as input to the second phase of the catalyst optimizer so the here it this logical optimization applies standard rule based optimizations to the resolved logical plan okay so here it applies the rule based optimization techniques and it resolve the code by applying predicate push down or pruning such kind of rule based optimization and then it creates the optimized logical plan this is the optimized logical plan so that will be ge generated by this logical optimization by applying some rule based optimization techniques so that optimized logical plan will look like this now 
here we you can see right first here we have the filter first and then union something but it has modified that based on the whatever is best because this is the optimized logical plan created by catalyst optimizer now this is the optimized logical plan which will be which will be used for further processing in the catalyst optimizer okay so now this optimal logical plan will be sent as input to the third phase which is called as physical planning and this stage will take the, uh, the uh, will take this input from uh, this logical plan and here the catalyst optimizer will generate one or more physical plans okay then it applies the cost based optimization on all the created physical models and calculates the cost for each physical plan so one it can be one or 10 or whatever it is it applies it applies multiple join algorithms to create one or more physical plans for example let's say one physical plan will be created using the sort mer join one physical plan uses broadcast join and another one uses shuffle hash join etc and then it calculates the cost here for each of these physical plans then finally it will pick up the best physical plan based on the cost like it also checks for the parameters like execution time resource consumption etc before selecting the final best plan then this is the selected this after the cost model the fine uh, the uh, best physical plan will be selected and it will be sent as a input to the code generation now here let's see how that physical plan looks like so this is the physical plan and here we have not enabled adaptive execution so it is mentioning as false and here you can see it is using some hashed aggregation hash partition you can see here right so here multiple times filter it is doing first it is doing the union so this is the physical plan the best physical plan selected by the catalyst optimizer and uh, by considering the cost and this selected physical plan will be sent to the input as input to the code generation and in this case catalyst optimizer uses a special scala feature called quasi codes and it will generate the java byte code for the best physical plan that we are sending from here okay so and in internally even though if you are sending the data frames it will be converted to rdds after the java byte code so uh, that is anyway internal mechanism we don't have to worry about it spark takes care of everything so this uh, code generation will be done like ja the java byte code generation will be uh, generated by the code generation okay so finally this byte code will be sent to the scheduler for execution okay so here these are the modes that are available we can check in uh, if you wanted to see what exactly is happening internally after you ru after running some spark sql query right you can check mode equal to simple means it will give only the uh, physical plan if you give extended you can uh, i mean uh, result df the final df dot explain mode equal to extended if you give it uh, gives the one we, we just see right the in the notepad so it will give what is the unresolved logical plan resolved logical plan optimized logical plan and physical logical plan all these things will be given when you give this mode as extended and uh, this code gen is there right so this gives the java byte code which will get the uh, that code which will be get compiled soon and when you give this cost right it gives the optimized uh, logical plan details and when you use this last option formatted it gives the output generated by the best physical plan okay so this is how we can see the plans and this is how the catalyst optimizer works so for this simple query we have seen how the catalyst optimizer generates the different types of plans and in this diagram it overall it explains what and all will go through when you just create a data frame and you when you apply some transformations it has to go through each job in job means not the overall job i mean once the job driver splits the original application into multiple job sites the each job has to go through all these things and finally 
we will get the output which is like optimized way that's why spark uh, we say this is one of the advantages of using spark sql because it uses the catalyst optimizer internally and which that's why uh, we, uh, data frames are a bit faster than rdds when compared to com when when we compare with the rdds okay hope you understood uh, how the cost catalyst optimizer helps uh, while working with spark sql api okay thank you for watching the video friends please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings thank you